Hi, welcome to Malware Fixes. This topic will teach you how to remove stubborn browser extension that sets a policy on the computer, resulting to state that browser is managed by your organization. This procedure will delete the unwanted extension as well as the restrictions on Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge browsers. If this is the first time you visit this channel, please hit the like and subscribe button. First, please go to Windows Taskbar. On the search bar, please type regedit. Open the registry editor. Make a backup copy of your registry by going to File menu and then, click Export. Save the file to your desired location. Next, go to EdgeQ Local Machine, Software, Policies. Open Google, and delete the Chrome entry. Do the same thing on Microsoft Edge. Again, please go to Windows Taskbar. On the search bar, please type Add, or Remove. Click to open Add or Remove programs. Look for suspicious and unfamiliar software, and uninstall it from the computer. Delete all the remaining suspicious software. The next step is to delete malicious files. Please open File Explorer. Go to Menu, click View, and select Hidden Items. This will reveal hidden files, especially malicious ones. Click on the C drive. Open Users folder. Next, open your current account. Open the App Data folder, and click on Local. Open Google folder, and delete the Chrome folder. Go back to the Local folder. Open Microsoft, and delete the Edge folder. Go back to App Data folder. Open the Roaming folder. Find and delete recently added suspicious files. These are normally executable files like Screensaver, Visual Basic, and applications that shows random characters on the file name. If you encounter that the file is open or in use, please open Task Manager. Right-click on the Windows taskbar and click on Task Manager from the Choices. On Task Manager window, look for the problematic file that cannot be deleted. Right-click on the file, and click on End Task. You may now go back to File Explorer and delete the file. Do the same thing for other stubborn files that cannot be deleted.
to continue deleting malicious files, please go back to App Data folder. Open the local folder. Click to open the temp folder. Find and delete recently added malicious applications and executable files. Again, if the file is in use, open Task Manager. Right-click on the Windows taskbar and select Task Manager from the list. You can also delete other recently added suspicious files and folders bearing the random characters. Please carefully refer to the date they were added. Go back to App Data folder. Open the local low folder. Delete all recently added suspicious files, especially applications, screensaver, or visual basic data. Go back to local low folder. Open the Microsoft folder. Click on the CryptNet URL cache folder. And open the content folder. Delete all recently added suspicious files from this directory. Next, go to the users folder and open your current user account folder. Open the Documents folder. Delete all recently added suspicious files. Again, use Windows Task Manager to end the running process of files that cannot be deleted. Go back to your current user account. Click on App Data, click the Roaming folder, and open the WinHost folder. Delete the WinHoster file and other suspicious items from this folder. Next, please go to Drive C. Open the Program Files x86 folder. Look for recently added suspicious files or directories, and delete them all. Please refer to the date where they were added. Please go back to Drive C. Open the Windows directory. Navigate to System32 folder. Look for Group Policy and Group Policy Users folder and delete both.
you may now close the file explorer and any open windows. Please note that file directories may vary depending on the malware that is present on the computer. Nevertheless, please click on the provided link to check the updated list of malicious files and folders on our website. Next, we will enforce the clean group policy. Please go to Windows Taskbar and type CMD in the search area. Open the command prompt. Please type GP update space slash force and press enter on your keyboard. Once the policy update has completed, you may now close the command prompt window. After this procedure, run a full scan of antivirus program to delete malicious items left on the computer. You may also click the link on the description below to visit our website and have access to downloadable effective virus and malware scanners. See the updated list of malicious files and folder that needs to be deleted. View and updated procedures. Access to printable removal guide. Again, please click like and subscribe button to support this channel.